Hi, I'm Sylvia. And I'm Jen. The and sequel. We're, and we're the Saska sisters down here in Princess Diana. It's pretty it's pretty exciting. Yeah, you might be getting pieces or flavors of Princess Diana. Can you, can you up? Can you up? Can you up? Can you up? up? Yeah. Up, yeah. Up, oh, up, there we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Anyways, so we have another fun giveaway for you guys, for you artists. Yes, we are looking for artists, and for this art pack, pa blah, 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 for this art prize package, we are looking for your finest work of art. It can be a doodle, mm -hmm. it can be a comic, it can be a t-shirt, it can be a sculpture, it can be a painted rock. If you consider art, so will we. All you have to submit is one work of art. It cannot be film. It has to be a visual medium purely. Yeah, there's another competition for film. You have to, you have to. Yeah, you're gonna have, you have to, to look at the other video. To that one. We missed you for that. Yeah. And what is the prize? Some of you might know that we wrote a comic book called "Kill Crazy Nymphos Attack" that was so filthy it could not be printed on North American soil, and even in the country that we won't say that printed it, it had to be uh, printed under the cover of nightfall. So obviously you want it for free. Mm hmm And we have very limited edition. Sister Sisters covers where we show up as maniacal death killing nuns. Nuns, you know, just, you know, the Brides of Christ, Brides of Pain, same difference. Yeah, we have one of those we're giving away and a special autograph with us also in our cute little nun outfits because, you know, blessed be. So send us your art and let's send you some stuff. But let's give some prizes away now. Everybody who uh, submitted a question and gets their question read, we will be giving an autographed photo to. You just have to tell us which one that you want. And the very first person is, well, you're gonna start. Ooh, it's me, it's I'm first this time. Darren Ashby. Ashley. Darren Ashley. Darren. <clears throat> what would be your dream project, franchise, movie, adaptation, concept, whatever, what's the one ambitious one that you only allow yourself to dream? Wow. wow. Written the like end, an artist. The end of it, Darren, you really got me that you only allow yourself to dream. Jen, do, you, do you have a project you only dream about? Uh, that you would never <laughs> even allow yourself to think you could have? I guess mine would be Spider-Man. Only dare dream. I wouldn't even tell anyone. Uh, Darren, don't tell anyone, but it would be Spider-Man. Definitely a superhero franchise, if it could be in the cards, is something that I only dream to dream of. And of course, not only would I want to do a superhero movie, I'd want to rethink the way that they do superhero movies. There would be no space war in mind, sadly. Just humans overcoming human obstacles with extraordinary gifts. What? What character? That's not my answer. I want to do Dead Ringers. I want to do Dead Ringers. Ah! I want to do Dead Ringers. And I think that it's unfair that twins don't get to say their own stories. And, you know, I will do Dead Ringers one day. You could remake it. You could remake the remake. I'm going to call it The Twins. And it'll be so removed that only you, viewer, will know that I'm ripping it off. Thank you, Darren. Adam, message us. You get a free photo. Let us know which one you want. Adam Ducey asks... What are your proudest projects on and off screen? Wow. I'd say my proudest thing ever that we've written was our Black Widow No Restraints play. And if you know anything about censorship, that would never be a movie. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, Jennifer and I do a lot of hiring of cast and crew. So uh, for me, it's always nice having uh, people that are passionate to work with. And then especially if you find somebody who might have not had the opportunity to do that before, giving them that opportunity and seeing how they shine or working with somebody who's been working in this industry even longer than I've been alive and being like, well, how would you do it? And then being like, no one's ever asked me. I'm like, well, I'm not a specialist in that field. You are. So go ahead and do it. That's always like makes you feel good. And it's also why my movies look good, because other people are allowed empowered to do their job. Yeah. And the main reason, like when we were allowed to hug each other. The conventions and the meeting the fans, yeah. I mean, that was worth a million. That's worth way, way, way more than they could ever pay us. Yeah, it was a great moment. <laughs> okay. No, that was I nice, that one. Adam. Nice. Mm -hmm. Next is David Harlow. David, you get anything you want. You let us know which one. If there was zero budget restrictions, who would you like to cast in a film, and where would you like to film? The sky's the limit. Wow. wow. 
So <laughs> we have a dream project that's a little bit of a logistical nightmare. It's like the twin version of Get Out, and it's called Singular, and uh, I would be cast only by twins. Mm -hmm. There'd be a few singular solo people that are born for the, the theme purposes, but all the cast and crew would also be twins. I just think we've never had really an opportunity for something like that, and I think it would be really exciting because it's, it's one of those visual minorities that you don't ever really think about because your group is the two people. And then the, if you got twins together, what might all of us twins do, right? Yeah. I, I also have a, a dream project called The Man Who Kicked Ass. Oh, yeah. And it is a Japanese anime slash spaghetti western. And I would like uh, Lash Loro Chartrand, who we've worked with before and who's done many great stunt coordinating uh, films, especially The Last Samurai. I would love him to handle all of the action. And whatever actor is in the movie would be very lucky, but I promise I would just look at the, the list of international sales and you might not know this, but there's guys at the top of that list that are very expensive. I would just take whoever is at the top of that list. Probably Florence Pugh right now. Like who? The I hell would knows? kill to work with some Florence. She's amazing. <laughs> guys, freaking awesome questions. And if you like giveaways with free stuff and us asking, answering your questions, let us know. Go on our social media. We're on all of that. Maybe we'll do more of these things. I mean. Christmas is coming. And submit your art. One visual word. One piece of art. I'm sorry, I got so angry. But do it yeah. in a nice way. Do it. Yeah. Yeah.